Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. So here is baby Aria's two month update. Again, so big. She's kind of blending into the background, but yeah. This is her like little personalized jacket that I actually bought for, oh, onesie, says her name on it, that I got for her when I, like the same day I found out that she was a girl, so I already had her name. If I found out she was a girl, I had the girl name, and I instantly bought this online. <laughs> yeah, she's about two months and a week, or two weeks, two and a half months, almost. I didn't write anything down, so I'm sorry if I'm all over the place in this video. And it's also like a really cloudy and rainy day, so the lighting's a bit off. But she had her bath today, and she's looking all cute. She's looking outside. I love her so much. She's my little squishy. Let's start with eating. She's eating all the time. She's like going through a growth spurt thing right now, I think, because she's just eating all the time, all the time, all the time, all day long. So that's why she just woke up. Like I just laid her down to go to sleep and about 20 minutes later, she's like, feed me. So I just fed her again. Yeah, she's just doing the breastfeeding. She refuses to take a bottle, a binky, pacifier, whatever you want to call them. Um, she's very, very sensitive when it comes to anything else going in her mouth except for boobs. Like, she was at the doctor the other day. She had her two-month checkup. They gave her this, like, little, um, thing and it just, like, they're just trying to put little drops in her mouth. It's just, like, sugar water, basically, is what it tastes like, they said. It's just to, like, help prevent, like diarrhea or upset stomach or whatever. I don't exactly know the name. They were just trying to put that in her mouth and she instantly gagged and threw up. So there went that. She didn't really get much of it. Um, we tried to give it to her after she threw up and she didn't throw up but she, it just there was just a little bit left but we didn't want to risk giving her too much. And then she did get three shots which she was obviously upset about but I was surprised she didn't cry for longer. She cried for like the few seconds that she was getting the shot. Oh great she's got hiccups. <laughs> dramatic yeah she just cried for a few seconds and I held her and she was fine but the whole rest of the day and night she did not sleep like I couldn't even barely fall asleep for longer than 30 minutes she just wanted to eat 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 she was just so fussy and eating was the only thing that was comforting her so yeah that was a bit rough but she's all better now finally and I know I don't want to hear like a bunch of comments about like shots and stuff the doctor's just telling me all these risks and stuff like if I don't give her the shots and like about all these babies that have died from certain things because I didn't get their shots so I just didn't want to risk it so I am giving her all her shots that's just how I feel I got all my shots and I'm fine next time I'll pro I probably will space them out more and not give them to give him to her all at once because she was really fussy and I'm not sure if that's because she had too much or if it was one shot that did it but anyway she's all better now she's just really sensitive I tried to give her Tylenol and it's in these little droppers and right away threw up try to give it to her later that night threw up so yeah she doesn't like anything in her mouth super sensitive I'm not sure exactly why that is even the nurse was like I have never seen a baby throw up from this <laughs> or a gag from this so very picky girl like me. <laughs> yeah, she's eating well. Obviously, she's growing good. The doctor said that she's now 11 pounds, 7 ounces. She's probably a little bit bigger than that now because that was a week ago. Oh yeah, she's talking. She's trying to talk. She's not talking, but she's trying to talk a lot now. Like, she makes little... Goo, gah. If I have a video, I'll put that here. Aria. Hi, baby. Hey. She has to make little cute baby sounds and it's the cutest thing ever. I get so happy when she does that. Um, she's smiling a lot more. If you see, she has an Instagram. I'll put it right here if you want to follow her. She's almost at 2,000 followers, so go follow her page. I post on there daily for her. Um, she's always smiling. You can see on her Instagram. Um, as for sleeping, she will go to sleep around 12 to 1 a.m. and then stay asleep until the sun comes out, which is really nice. But yeah, she'll wake up when the sun comes out, eat, go back to sleep, and stay asleep until 9 or 10. Yeah, eating well, sleeping pretty well. She takes naps during the day, but she wants to be awake a lot more during the day. Um, and just be held. She's super spoiled, you guys. Like, I'm holding her all the time. It's terrible. She just wants to be held, held, held. She will go in her little baby swing for a couple hours and sleep sometimes, but 
most of the time she just wants to be held. Um, I do tummy time for her. I try my best to do it at least 30 minutes a day. She doesn't always like it. She loves to be on her stomach if you're holding her like this. She loves this. She'll fall asleep like this all the time. And yeah, she does hold her head up really well, as you can see. So I feel like she's getting a lot of strength just from doing this. But when I lay her down on the mat, it's like sometimes she'll do it for a little bit. But she tries to start to eat the mat and lick it, and then she gets hungry. Another funny thing, the doctor said that she is now 22 inches long. And she was born at 20 inches. I was born at 18 inches, in case anyone cares to know. Her dad, Jerry, he was born at 22 inches. So this is how long he was when he was born. And he was like 10 or 11 pounds or something crazy. So he was literally like about this size when he was born. It's insane. I'm glad she didn't come out of me this big. That would be terrifying. <laughs> but yeah, I love her so much. I love her more and more every day. I don't even feel like I could love her any more than I already do. But I just keep loving her so much more. And she gets cuter and cuter every day. Look at this face. Um, and eye color, they kind of look, okay, they look brown right now on the camera, but if you look at them sometimes, like, in the light, they'll look green to me. If you look on her Instagram, you might be able to see. And her hair is getting a lot lighter. It used to be black, <laughs> and now it's lightening up. She's got a little, it looks like a bald spot, but her hair is just parts that way. She's got, like, the perfect boy cut. <laughs> it just naturally parts that way just like her daddy she looks just like him i guess that's about it she's uh very alert always awake she loves to look outside she likes to look at the tv i'm sure most babies do she likes to look at the lights um she likes to be held like this sitting up and like i showed you earlier on my chest um but yeah she's doing really well i love her so much i feel like it was a little bit easier for me to get things done because she would just sleep all day because that's what newborns do. But now she wants to be awake more during the day so it's a bit harder to do things unless I'm holding her. But that's okay because I love holding you. Yes I do. Here's Aria Marie, two months old. She's so cute. I love her. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys like these monthly updates. Let me know if you do. I will keep making them. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in our next video. Bye!